Hi, I'm Claudia. I'm an account coordinator and welcome to our comprehensive guide on local farms. This is a key component in the California divorce process. For those using Hello Divorce, we offer streamlined experience. We'll guide you through each step, simplify the legal terminology, auto-generate your form, assist with filing, and provide access to experts for additional support. However, this video is beneficial to anyone navigating a divorce in California. So let's dive in and demystify together local forms. So there are over 50 counties in California, but currently only 16 of them require a local form. And when we refer to it as a local form, it means one, the county requires it. And two, they require it when we file the petition. So if you were to file a petition without a local form, your petition is not going to get filed. So we need this local form. Now, don't you worry. If you're in a county that files a local form that requires a local form, your account cater coordinator is going to let you know, and they are going to make sure that your forms are filled out and ready to be filed right along with your petition. So currently, the counties that require local forms, look, I got a list because I can't memorize 16 names. It's Amador, Glen, Los Angeles, Madera, Mendocino, Orange, Riverside, Sacramento, San Bernardino, San Diego, San Francisco, San Luis Obispo, San Mateo, Santa Clara, Siskiyou, and Stanislaus. Okay, so really briefly, I'd like to show you that local form so you know what does the court want to know and why do they want to know it? Okay, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. The court wants to know two main things. There are some variations, but for the most part, they want to know who you are. Most of these, these local forms are, who are you? And the other one is, did you get the right court? Give me your address so we make sure you're filing in the right court. That's what they want to know. So they aren't really complicated. So let me share my screen so you can see these local forms as they are right now. Okay, so for Amador County, this is a basic intake form. They don't wanna just know information about you though. Usually on these intake forms, they wanna know information about your spouse, where you live, what your social security number is, what your driver's license number is, your date of birth, your email address. They want to know these things. For Glen County, they want to they first they want to know, hey, what kind of family law case is this? Generally, it's either a divorce, a dissolution of marriage, or a legal separation. They want to know a little bit about you if you're self-represented and what type of issues might you be just discussing. You're not going to know all the answers to all of the questions here, so you only fill out what you know. For Los Angeles, this is an intake form where they want to know where you live, where your spouse lives, how long you've been married, and where this should be filed. Los Angeles has many, many courts, and they want to make sure it's filed in the right district. For Madera, this is a confidential declaration because they're asking you for your information. Again, they wanna know your driver's license number, your social security number, all of those things. Orange County is a, I'm sorry, Mendocino. Mendocino, they want you to fill out your name, your spouse's name. You're filing this with your petition, so you're not gonna have a case number yet. Don't worry about that. Just leave a blank. The court, once they file it, they're gonna stamp that and they're gonna put their case number there for you. And they want to give you a date for a future conference. They just wanna know, hey, what's happening with your divorce? How's it going? And what are the issues? Those types of things, or it's a judge, so they can decide to do whatever they wanna do, but it's really important to say, this is not your trial date. Now we're on to Orange. Orange County, like many of the others, wanna know information about you but they also want to know, are there other related cases? So is there a domestic violence case related to this? Maybe there's a restraining order. Is there another case in their courts, maybe with uh, CPS? 
If there are, you're going to listen there. If there aren't, yay, leave that blank and move on. Next is Riverside. They want to make sure you're in the right case, in the right court, in the right courthouse, in the right area. They want to know where do you, what's your address? What's your zip code? Okay, you got the right court. Cool. Sacramento is different. This form is an authorization for non-attorney attorney court preparer. Wow. It's an authorization for non-attorney court document preparer. Basically, you are going to authorize Hello Divorce to file and receive paperwork on your behalf. San Bernardino, they want to know if you have the right court and that this is a family law case. For San Diego, spoiler alert, they want to make sure that you've picked the right court. Are you seeing a pattern here, right? This is where your account coordinator is invaluable. They will make sure you have the right form and that everything here is correct. All right, so now we're moving on to San Francisco and this is different. This is different. San Francisco wants you to know, hey, guess what? Did you know that you don't actually have to go to court to settle your dispute? You don't have to go to trial. There's something called alternative dispute resolution and we want to tell you about it, make sure you know about it and encourage you to use it. That's what San Francisco wants you to know in this form. All right, so San Luis Obispo, we're back to where we were before. They want to make sure that you are at the right court. San Mateo is a lot like San Francisco and that they want to let you know there are alternative ways to settle your divorce that don't involve a trial. So you should explore them. Santa Clara, for this, this document, you really only need to put your name and your spouse's name because the court's going to fill out the rest of this document. They're going to let you know which judge has been assigned your case and what department that is going to be assigned to. Okay, for so Siska U, they want to know your information again. They want to know your private information. Now, for the last county, Stanislaw, they have two forms. One, this is a basic intake, as we've seen so many others, information about your address, your social security number, your driver's license. But they also want you to fill out this portion and submit it to them so that they can then assign a date and a time for a conference and let you know where that's going to be, what judge you're assigned to, what department that's in. So every county is different. And so you have to abide by the rules of that county. So if you're in a county that requires a local form, we're going to make sure that that form is filled out correctly and submitted for you. And once you file your petition, that local form is going to come back in the packet of papers with your petition and all the other things, this local form will be there too. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you found it very helpful. We have a variety of resources on our website, hellodivorce.com, pertaining to all things divorce, including what we went over in this video. If you need help with your divorce or have any questions, you can always schedule a free 15-minute info call with our team on our website. Thanks. Mm -hmm.